Hello guys, thanks for checking out this video. This is my uh, Clemence Pose, or Posey, I don't know how you say it, um, inspired makeup tutorial. And I looked at a bunch of pictures from her today and she really, like most of the time, doesn't really look like she's wearing makeup. I mean, I know she is and I've seen her without makeup so I can tell she is. I mean, there's sometimes that she wore a, like a bit more makeup but I'm just gonna do a really natural look um, just using really basic stuff but hopefully it'll look a lot like kind of what she tends to wear. So um, obviously right now I have nothing on my face. I just kind of want to do to see the before so then the after will be more dramatic rather than having my foundation on when I start the video. So um, I'm going to start with just using a tinted moisturizer. I'm just mixing my own. I'm using the Mario Badescu Aloe Moisturizer um, and I just put a little bit of that on my finger probably like that much. And then I'm using the Exuviance Cover Blend Concealer. Um, I'm using two colors, light and beige, because light is too light and beige is too dark. So I have two of them that I use. And I just do kind of little dots of them. You don't need very much. And if you just have a nice tint of moisturizer that you like, you can use that. It'll be a lot easier. <laughs> but I like doing this with this concealer. So then I just rub them on my fingers and then just kind of dot it on my skin and start blending it out. Alright, and then I'm going to mix a little bit more of both of the colors so I can use that to just touch up on any areas that I want a little more coverage. I need to get a different mirror for that. Okay, so once you have the desired amount of coverage that you want, I'm going to take a pressed powder. This is the MAC uh, Blot Powder. Just something to control oil if you have oily skin. If you don't, then you can probably skip the powder or just use a more kind of translucent um, powder. And I'm just going to put this on the T-zone. So my forehead, on my nose, and on my chin. Okay, because you want your skin to look as natural as possible. That's the whole point of this. So, sorry, I have my coat on down, like around my waist because I'm really cold. So I'm like tying it every once in a while. Um, alrighty. So then for the concealer, I've already put that um, concealer that I just used on my face. I put that underneath my eyes, but I am gonna use um, also the bare or the uh, Everyday Minerals Multi Intensive Concealer or multi, whatever. Um, I just really like this. It tends to give me more of a natural look and it covers better because I don't need as much. So it's just really awesome. And I definitely use a brush for this because it's powder. And then just make sure you don't have any creases with that other concealer that you put on. I really al always layer this with another, like with a liquid concealer because otherwise it doesn't really give you that much coverage. Alright, so you can kind of see the difference there, how that works. Alrighty, then I'm just going to touch it up with my um, finishing powder, the um, Laura Mercier Skin Brightening Powder, or Secret Brightening Powder. Okay, so I went ahead and primed my eyelids with Too Faced Shadow Insurance, 
And I'm going to start, I'm just going to actually be using two eyeshadow colors for the whole look. So that's, that's it. I'm going to use my Cargo Essential eye palette, just anything with some browns in it, or you can use single eyeshadow, uh, brown eyeshadows. But I'm going to just use this lid color right here, um, this one. It's a little bit shimmery. I want something shimmery. If you, if you want, you can go darker. Um, I just wanted to do something really light and soft. So I'm going to use my MAC 217 brush, just a nice kind of fluffy shadow brush. And then I'm just going to put this right on the eyelid. And then blend it into the crease. She has very different eye shape than me, so it's not going to look the same on me. But if you have similar eye shape to her, then awesome, you'll see. <laughs> Alright, so that's pretty much it for that. Alright, and then I'm going to take a very small kind of crease brush. This is the MAC 219. And just using that same color, I'm going to put that underneath the eye. And you can put it pretty thick because this is a really light color. So you're not going to see it a whole lot, but it's going to give you that kind of like I'm going to just say what I think it looks like. It's kind of sickly looking, but I've noticed that a lot of models wear this kind of look. And so, yeah, I'm going to do it because that's what you requested. But I think it makes people look kind of weird. Um, but once I put eyeliner on and mascara, it'll be fine. It's better with the mascara, but it still kind of gives you a little bit of a weird look in my opinion. <laughs> All right, and the last step is just going to be to apply some brown eyeshadow as liner. I'm going to use the darkest color on the bottom and my flat eyeliner brush. And I'm just going to put a really, really thin line along the top lashes. So we have a subtle little definition there. And you don't have to put eyeliner if you don't want to. It's totally up to you. Alright, so that's it for the eyeshadow and liner. Now I'm just going to add some mascara. If you want to go more natural, use something maybe like a brown black, or you could just use something that doesn't put a lot of product on your lashes. Um, I'm just going to use my normal Prestige, my biggest lashes. I'm going to add some brow gel just to set my eyebrows. You don't have to go crazy with them, leave them pretty natural. Um, and then I will come back and show you the cheeks and the lips. All right, so that's it for the eyes. And now I'm just gonna use a little bit of a contour powder. This is MAC Emote Blush. I think it's discontinued, but something that's matte and neutral um, in tone will be fine. And I'm just doing this because, as you can tell, I don't really have that much bone structure to my face like she does. And so I'm gonna try to contour my cheekbones a little bit um, just for fun. And once again, this is optional. I'm sure she doesn't do this because she doesn't need to, but for me, I am, so. So I'm just kind of seeing where that shadow goes and then just following it. Less is more with contouring, guys. Less is more. So no, just a little, you know, why not? Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with a bright peach blush. This is the Lola Sunrise. It's matte. Um, you can use shimmer too if you want, either way. This is really pigmented, so I need to be careful. Just reminding myself. And if you happen to have this blush, then there you go. So for this guy, just kind of put it on the apples of the cheek, just a real little area, kind of right there. I think I'm going to stop there. 
Now for the lips, you can just do lip balm. You could do a nude lipstick. You could do a nude lip gloss, whatever you wanna do. What I'm gonna do is a lip balm and then a lip stain. And I always do a lip balm first because otherwise the lip stain can just look really bad. Plus it goes on really dark and I don't like that. So if you like that, go for it. But I'm not a big fan. So lip balm on. And I'm using the NYC Lip Stain in Champagne Stain, whatever that means. It doesn't look like champagne to me, but okay. <laughs> and then I'm just going to really lightly apply that. You're just going for something natural. Ooh, Let's see how many times I can use that word. So once you've got the desired amount of color on there, you can stop blending and you're good. So this is my finished Clemence inspired look. Hopefully I said her name right. Um, yeah, so thanks so much for requesting this and keep on watching for more videos. See you later. Bye.